today, Kola. Can you tell us a little bit about Sahara Power and your role within the organization? Um, Sahara Power Group um, is an organization uh, that's a subsidiary of the Sahara Group uh, of companies. Primarily as Sahara Group, what we do uh, is that we seek for a solution uh, to problems wherever energy is required. So we want to be the provider of choice wherever energy is consumed and uh, we want to bring energy to life. Uh, that's the focal point um, of the organization. Um, Sahara Power Group um, is a conglomerate that deals in both generation and distribution of electricity um, in Africa. Uh, in Nigeria currently, what we have is about 2,000 installed um, capacity, megawatts installed capacity of electricity infrastructure. And um, we equally supply electricity on daily basis to 1 million households um, in Nigeria. Of um, the generation output in the country, uh, we are currently doing 15% of the output of electricity um, in Nigeria. So essentially, we are a company that uh, seeks to bring energy to life, not just in Nigeria, but in Africa. Uh, beyond Nigeria, we're looking elsewhere. We're expanding the frontiers of our business and seeking opportunities uh, where we see one. Uh, we have a strong desire to ensure that um, Africa is lit up. Africa mm -hmm. is energized mm -hmm. and Africa is made a growth center um, mm -hmm. in the global space. That's mm -hmm. the focal point of the organization. And I'm the group managing director um, of the company. I equally double as the chairman of um, Ikega Electric, which is the uh, distribution company. Okay. I'm equally a director on the, the Egmi Power PLC, which is the biggest power plant in Sub-Sahara Africa. Okay. It generates 1,320 megawatts. And um, we equally have about 720 um, installed megawatts in um, the Niger Delta area in Nigeria. Great. And obviously you touched on this in your presentation and you, sp you spoke about the shifting patterns and rising challenges in the African power sector. Yeah. So with that in mind, can you tell us a little bit about, about the key points from your, from your presentation? Um, well, um, increasingly all the governments of Africa are beginning to realize that without um, electricity there can be an economy. Economy mm. cannot grow without electricity. Mm. The economy um, depends on electricity um, to grow. Equally, if you want to cure unemployment, you mm. provide electricity. Mm. So government is realizing that as well. In order for you to stimulate the economic growth that Africa urgently needs, mm. uh, there is um, a strong push for electrification of Africa mm. as we speak today. So invariably, uh, there is a bit of understanding better than before yeah. uh, regarding the priorities that Africa needs to focus on and electricity being uh, the critical one. Apart from that is the fact that um, the natural resources we have in Africa, we're beginning to uh, seek exploitation of those natural resources uh, for usage um, locally in Africa uh, before we start to export them. Um, there is equally a renewed drive uh, by African countries for renewable energy mm. as we speak um, today um, by way of energy mix so yes. that we don't just depend on one energy uh, solution to provide electricity. It is the hope and aspiration of Africa that um, Africa will truly become fully renewable yes. um, hopefully in another 60 years, 50 years from now all things being equal. Um, but then it's a journey. It's yes. not a destination. Exactly. And as we look into gas to power activity around Africa, how do you see that developing in the next five years? Uh, well, gas to power is going to be um, a massive area for investment yeah. um, in Africa. For instance, in Nigeria, we have over 200 billion uh, CCF of gas that is available. So invariably, we have that resource that we need mm. to use. So the resource is still being exploited, uh, yeah. but then the usage for electricity purposes is not as high as it should be. So I believe uh, once the fundamentals of electricity supply are made right, uh, once there is um, a market-driven tariff structure, and uh, there is proper alignment and plans, implementation following through, uh, gas to power will be something significantly being used um, for the purpose of development of African countries. Great. And what have the recent developments been for Sahara Power? 
Um, of late, uh, part of what we've done is that apart from uh, building on what we have in Nigeria by way of expanding our portfolio, yeah. uh, we equally want to ensure that um, sooner than later we approach um, the 5,000 megawatt uh, range of, of electricity generation. Uh, we believe that um, Africa is the bedrock of uh, the global development, so invariably we we'll need to sp uh, spread our tentacles to go to other nations in Africa. We're working currently in South Sudan, uh, where we're putting in massive um, investment. Uh, desire to go beyond South Sudan to Tanzania, to Zambia, um, to Congo. We're going to Senegal, we're going to Sierra Leone, we're going to Cote d'Ivoire. Wow. Uh, we're going to be going to some of these places where they don't have enough of um, electricity access mm -hmm. um, in Africa. So um, the focal point is to spread as fast as possible and bring energy to life to the African people. Fantastic. And it's, it's your first year being a sponsor of the Africa Assembly. Yeah. And I can talk on behalf of all of us that we're looking forward to seeing Sahara Power's developments, given what you've just said going mm -hmm. forward. Mm -hmm. um, why did you decide to become a sponsor and where do you see the value in attending a gathering like this? Uh, well, uh, the worst place to be when you want to expand yourself is to be in prison. Um, you are in prison if you think alone. You are in jail if you assume you know it all. So it's um, very relevant for us as an organization uh, to uh, seek solution, to seek knowledge, to seek understanding, to seek ways uh, through which um, infrastructure is being developed elsewhere, how they're doing it. Uh, so we want to make things better. We want to make things more qualitative, we want to make things cheaper, and we equally want to spread as much as possible to those who, that we need uh, to support as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, our sponsorship is born more out of the fact that we, we want to learn. We are a learning organization. We open ourselves up uh, to soak in as much as we could. We're, we're a sponge, so we're here to learn. And uh, to learn, we need to pay, <laughs> so mm -hmm. we're paying for what uh, mm -hmm. the knowledge we want to acquire. And do you feel like you've reaped those benefits already? Of course, of course, we That's see great. relationships uh, because um, relationships well nurtured ultimately uh, makes the organization stronger and better. Exactly. And it makes um, the bottom line more effective. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Colin. Much appreciated. My